let's do some uh, achieved question at level 2 NCE so in level 2 NCEA exam and uh, my focus is to do questions on solving equation on solving equations so generally you have one question on say logs so let me write a question like this you can make I'll show you my focus is also to show you how you can make up your own questions so the question can be like this say x is equal to log base 4 of 1616384 so yeah you need to know the log rules so the log rule is like this so this is the foundation of log if if say b to the power x is equal to y this formula is given in your formula sheet this double implies b for base log base b is equal to log base b of y is equal to x so this is how I try to I, I like to remember b raised to x I remember it like a wedge b raised to x b raised to x is equal to y and that this and this are equivalent so I like to write it this same equation in log form so I write like this log base 4 base 4 of 1 6 3 8 4 3 8 4 is equal to x okay so writing this in the exponent form this implies what can we say 4 to the power x is equal to 1 6 3 8 4 so there is a x there is some value of x which you raise 4 by you get 1684 so let's use a calculator just to do guess and check so you know 4 raised to 1 4 raised to 1 is 4 that's too small so 4 raised to 3 is 64 what is 4 raised to 4 this is not the right way of doing it 256 4 raised to 5 this is trial and error there's nothing wrong we are getting closer 4 raised to 6 is this 4 let me go 4 raised to 8 okay that's too big okay so 4 4 raised to say 5 what is 4 raised to 5 1024 4 raised to 6 is 4096 okay 4, 4 raised to 7 is 16384 okay so here by trial and error you can say 4 raised to 7 is 16384 16384 so if you compare this by this you can see x is equal to 7 okay so this is a long way of doing it they give you one rule where you can do the whole thing in one step so what the rule is like this log base b of a this is a very neat rule is log a divided by log b if you know this rule I tell my students rule is a power if you know the rules it can be easy so if you want to do this applying this rule in one step I can say x is equal to log of 1 6 one six three eight four my pen is not working three four. divide by so one six three eight four divided by log four will give you the answer so do this on so let me use my graphic calculator this so if you press log cancel this log again this is not working so let me use calculator in this calculator you have to enter the number first so it's one six 
1684 log, that's log of 16384, divide by 4 log or log 4 equals 7. Okay, so that's the answer. So this is 7. This is just doing log. So suppose let's do one more example. Suppose the question is x is equal to log of any number. So take any number, 5 of say 625. This is a neat number. The answer would be neat number because I know 5 to the power of is 625. So if you want to get the answer, the answer would be 4. So basically you go log of 625 divided by log of 5. Now in this calculator you have to enter the number first. So 625 log, that's log 625, oh, oops, log 625 log, this is log of 625 divided by 5 log equals 4. So how do I know this is right? Because if you want to do the maths here, so 5 raised to x is 625. That's what this equation means in exponent form. And I know 5 to the power of 4 is 625. So x should be 625. Okay, so let me do one more example of log. Okay, okay, so let me drag it up. So it can be a question like this. Uh, log base y of 1024 is equal to 4. So again the same rule. So here you can't do log of 1024 divided by log of y. So you have to write in the exponent form. So I know y to the power of 4 is 1024. Writing this in the exponent form. And now I have to find the fourth root. So this is fourth root of y to the power of 4, the fourth root of this side, I have to take the fourth root of the other num other side. So fourth root of 1024. Okay, so this is fourth root of y to the power of 4 is y is equal to fourth root of this would be positive or negative. Whenever you have finding square root or fourth root or sixth root, you have two answers. Let me do this on the calculator. So fourth So fourth root is four and then you go shift fourth root of one thousand twenty-four should be five point five point six. This number is this is not a neat number, so it'll be five. So you can say it's five point five point six six. Is five point six six in two dp. In two dp. Okay, so that means if you raise this number by four, if you raise this number by four, you should get one thousand twenty-four. So let's check that. So raise to answer, raise to 4 should give me 1024. So this answer is right. Okay, so if the question is like this, so let's make up a question. Log base x of uh, say 81 is equal to 5. So the same principle x raised to 5 is equal to 81. So the fifth root here, so taking the fifth root of x to the power 5 is equal to the fifth root of 81. Okay, so x, fifth root is positive or negative, so you have only one root here. So how do you find fifth root? Phi shift, this is a root key, fifth root of 81 should be 2.41 in 2 dp is 2.41 in 2 dp so to check your answer you have to enter the whole number this number if you raise it by 5 it should give you 81 so answer 
answer raised to 5 should give you 81. So this answer is right.